next guest is an Emmy-nominated actor you know from his work on HBO's Silicon Valley. He stars in the CBS sitcom Be Positive. The season two finale airs March 10th. Let's take a look. Knock, knock. Don't answer. <laughs> Who's there? Nobody home. Juno. I'm great at these. Juno who? Did you know I'm headed to Alaska? Oh! <laughs> Did you know I'm headed to Alaska who? What? No, 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 I'm going to Alaska. I finally decided on my next adventure. Why is that funny? I might try to work on a fishing boat. After, you know, I spend a few weeks exploring the wilderness, just me and nature in an epic battle for survival. My money's on nature. Please welcome back to the show our friend Thomas Middleditch, everyone. It is just so nice to have you here, and I feel as though this might be a television debut of a new hairstyle. Well, you know, it's the cut that everybody's talking about. Yeah, I didn't, I heard you had a new one, and I will admit when you first walked out, I didn't really see it. Yeah. And it wasn't until I got you on this angle as you went. Yeah, you know. that looks like a pretty normal haircut. Oh, what's that you say? It's a braided rat tail at the back? <laughs> I mean, that and, might... and, and I want to say, <laughs> this is real. This isn't some ha-ha funny for jokes yeah. extension. This is my life now. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't one of those phony Hollywood rat tails <laughs> yeah. you get on Sunset Boulevard. Those are a dime a dozen, <laughs> my friend. I mean, that must have taken, uh, what, uh, a half a week to grow? OK, it's, <laughs> it's a little short now. <laughs> but this baby's going to get down to my butt, hopefully. Wow. This is such a big, like, this whip is it around such like... a big life change. Yeah. What makes you take the leap to rat tail? You know, you just, you get some free time <laughs> and uh, things change. <laughs> lot, I do, lot, I, of, I, I lot like... of introspection. And I think I come out, I emerge from my cocoon, a tailed man. <laughs> uh, we've talked about this before and I, I feel a little, like, I have to admit to you, I don't really believe it when we talk about the fact that you have a pilot's license. Yeah, it does. I, I'm always... What about you? What about me <laughs> makes you not take me seriously, Seth? When you go to your barber, you're like, just remember, you need to see it under, like a helmet. Yeah. The rat tail's got to be long enough. poke out. <laughs> Any headwear, you got to see it. But this is, uh, you're, so again, and you are using, yeah. you're piloting for good. I think sometimes people might think, oh, he got his pilot license, he's out there, you know, going to probably the fire festival or something like that. Yeah, can't but wait. Um, First you have, have, this is a true thing. You've been going and you've been ferrying dogs from one like rescue to another. <laughs> uh. <laughs> They're yeah. like, ah, oh, that's not what I thought from the rat tail yeah. guy. I thought he was gonna <laughs> take drugs up from Mexico. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, uh, no, but there are drugs in the dogs. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, there's an organization, Pilots and Paws, where basically they act as like a middleman. So, you know, shelters will be full in Southern California and they need to get flown up to places with more room or occasionally in their new forever home. And it's kind of a way to be like, do something nice, get an, an excuse to fly around, and then you'll end up in like some random spot. Like, I'll, I find myself in places like Placerville or, Green, or Grass Valley up in Northern California, which are like, I guess towns that were founded on like the California gold rush, uh -huh. and they remind you of it. They're like, oh, every bar is like, the old Klondike Saloon. <laughs> I have a sarsaparilla at the, the Pioneer's Tavern. <laughs> okay, got it, copy that. You like your gold. I like um, that uh, I was like, how do you even get a rescue dog in a, in a plane? What are they, they how do they travel? Up, man. Look at that. Oh. Those two, those two were great. They were two Brittany Spaniels who had like this neurological con condition. So when I picked them up, they were like, I forget their names, like Mitzi and Barbara, and here they are. And they're like, <laughs> and I was like, oh boy, are they gonna settle down when we uh, fly? Because they're still in the back like. <laughs> <laughs> and then they... I'm not la I mean, yeah, I am laughing at them, but it was. <laughs> It's sweet. Sometimes those brain conditions are hilarious. Um, you, uh, this is, you travel with your dog, so your dog comes I too. I do, yes. Well, I, yeah, I travel with one of them, Potter, and uh, I go up high, 
Uh huh. And when you're up high in my plane, not pressurized, you need oxygen. So even a dog needs oxygen. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is—is is this something you can buy, or did you rig this yourself? <laughs> It'd be cool if I rigged it. I'm like, he's got to get air somehow. No, you buy this. And so <laughs> this is in his little sweat, his little sweater, and he's got earmuffs and his little Bane mask. <laughs> I don't know. I, I really like that one. Yeah. He gets really. And what's what's sad, what's weird is like when he's when he's oxygen deprived or just getting enough, he gets real cuddly. So that's like him like crawling on me and be like, "Sleep now, master. Yes, go to bed now, child. Yes, in the morning you'll get more air. Um, <laughs> Only when I deem it necessary. <laughs> yes, yeah. I am. I am. Uh, uh, I'm, is it Michael Ironsides in Total Recall? I'm yeah. the bad guy in Total yeah, Recall. Yeah, 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 Michael Ironsides, yeah. nice pull. Yeah. I mean, they were impressed. Yeah, you guys, <laughs> why aren't you up to date <laughs> on Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sharon Stone, Michael Ironsides, Total Recall? <laughs> Screw you, Benny! Oh, to see this, and now they're just coming. Now they're yeah. slowly remembering. I yeah. wish I had three hands. <laughs> You're just doing fine with two. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> that's a spicy scene. Now that's a spicy scene. <laughs> I love just doubling down, doubling down, doubling down. It's one of the best. <laughs> Sorry for getting too animated over Total Recall. You mentioned I feel you like flew, everyone's like, settle You down. flew with one of your dogs. Uh, yeah. That means you have another yeah. that doesn't go up with you? No, uh, I realized that her time of traveling is, is done. Older, uh, an older dog. She's an, she's yeah. an elder. She's okay. about 15. The fun part about her and what has been a great gift um, uh, on top of just years of great news uh, globally, uh, is that she uh, has lost the full functioning use of her hind legs and just rear half. Okay. So she has a little wheelchair that I put her in. She like sc scuttles okay. around. All right. And the real cherry on the cake <laughs> uh, is <laughs> that um, before bed, and I am aware that I'm talking about this on television. Okay, good. My, uh, in order to like lessen the chances of me waking up the next morning with a uh, a stinky treat, yeah, I have to, as instructed by my vet, <laughs> I have to encourage a movement uh, manually. Okay. Uh, so I take a little bag and I like carry it to a spot. I hold her up and I um, uh, you know, um, play with my dog's butthole. <laughs> Yeah. And, and and I don't love it. I hate it. But I do it every night. And I'm happy the the reward for it is dump in my hand. <laughs> and I'm in my neighborhood like in the dark <laughs> doing this. Like other people walking by are like walking by me like Jesus. I'm like eh, eh. the vet told me to. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it is really, it's a real morale booster. <laughs> Just because your whole day you know you've got that. I know I got it. I know I got I got to milk my dog later on. <laughs> and, and, and it's not like the normal, the other powder, it's not like he's any better because like it's late. You know, you just want to go to bed and dogs are such jerks about it. They're like, you can tell they need to poo, but they're like, here, no. <laughs> here, no. -uh. And you're like, I can see your body ready to go. And you're still denying me this. <laughs> and then when they do it, you're like, yes. And then you're, and then you're like this sad man, happy for poo. <laughs> what is your life right now? <laughs> and I'm so acquainted with how poo feels now. I'm like, oh, I would say if it's dry, you're like, there's more in there. And now I'm sitting there trying to get more out of her. It's so, it's so sad. We got enough to deal with. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. I'm crushing it, man. <laughs> you got the rat tail. I got tail. a rat tail. <laughs> you're, doing you're, a great, you're a great dog owner. And I, let's not, you, uh, uh, Be Positive is a wonderful show with a wonderful cast. You mentioned yeah. in that clip, your character was gonna go to Juneau, Alaska, mm. uh, work on a fishing boat. Now that you're a, a man of the air, have you ever thought about life uh, on the sea? Uh, maybe getting a fishing license or something? <laughs> oh no, that's uh, far too uh, um, uh, bloody for me. No, I, uh, I have actually only recently, when the pandemic started, I had, um, I, I think I was Googling or YouTubing um, squalls, white squalls, because there's this Canadian folk singer called Stan Rogers who like see, sings like she's, 
sea shanties. And I was like, hmm, I wonder what a white squall is. <laughs> and like, oh, wow, that's pretty stormy. And then YouTube later on was like, I hear you're into sailing. And I'm like, not really, but what do you got, YouTube? And YouTube's like, well, there's this, uh, there's this channel, these like, they're both so pretty. There's this like pretty Australian couple, the man and a woman who have detached themselves from life. They sail around the world, sailing the vagabond. I'll give you a shout out, why not? <laughs> I bought their merch. I'm weirdly obsessed with sailing now. And uh, yeah, they live at sea. And I have thought about uh, just like, you know what? That's it for me, boys. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, I'll take to the seas from now on. But I have a feeling like, I don't know, yeah. week in, I'll just be like, I want my Xbox. What am I doing? Yeah. What am I doing? I can't believe I'm on a, I'm on a boat with a dog that can't <laughs> on his own. Yeah. <laughs> on a, in a white skull. Come on, Meatloaf. <laughs> Wait, Give me the goods, baby. Give me that name, brown gold. Is his name Meatloaf? Her name is Meatloaf. <laughs> God, don't misgender my dog. Oh, God. It's 2022. <laughs> Please don't misgender my dog, Seth. Apolo I'm Obviously, begging you. All right, I hear you. Apologies to Meatloaf. She sounds wonderful. Yes. This is Thomas Middleditch, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. The season two finale of Be Positive airs March 10th on CBS.